Hi everyone and welcome to this drawing video. In this video I want to show you how to draw a mountain in the mist and I'll also add some forest in front of that to really show up the layers of mist. Um, I love working on mountains and I find them a very relaxing thing to work on so hopefully this video helps out in some way. In terms of the materials I used a mechanical pencil with HB lead on smooth bristol board paper. Along with that I also used a regular 5B pencil to add some extra shading later on. I used some blending sticks to help smooth the shading and also used a small eraser to add some highlighting to the mountain. So I started by working on the very rough and basic outlines, just thinking about the shape of the mountain and the, the shapes within it. Um, also considering the, the sun and the light source and where the light's going to be hitting the mountain. Um, and I was considering the, the sun being on the right side of this image, and so all of the faces that are facing the right direction are going to be highlighted and are going to be bright, uh, contrasting with the dark shading of all of the faces uh, facing the left side. Um, and it's just really fun to consider that and how that really affects the, the, the way the mountain looks. Um, so once I was happy with how the shape was looking, I started blocking in some very rough shading at first. Um, adding some very dark shading along the left side um, and then after that smoothing that shading with a blending stick and then also adding some more shading over the top of that, adding some sharp lines and just adding more shapes within that area um, just building up more detail as I went along in for each section of the mountain and for all of the faces highlighted by the light of the sun um, I didn't add as much detail to them, I, I just added some streaks of shading and then blended that with the blending stick. Um, I added most of the detail of, this, of the mountain to the shaded side, just adding lots of shaded areas um, and just blending and uh, really adding lots of contrast, especially to the areas where the shaded side meets the highlighted side. Um, having that contrast really makes that part of the mountain stand out, so that's why I really focused the contrasting area towards the top of the mountain, making that the real focus point of the drawing, um, and then just kind of fading the contrast as I work my way down the mountain. And then as I got to the lowest part of the mountain, that's when I really relied on the blending sticks to help take away from the sharpness of the lines and blur them into the mist. Another way for me to remake the, the highlighted sides of the mountain stand out was to add a sky. Uh, so for this I, I found a regular HB pencil and just started adding some shading in the background. Um, and after that I used a, a blending stick to smooth that shading and just make it as smooth as possible. Um, and this was just another way to contrast the highlighted sides of the mountain and just really make them the focus point. Just making them stand out as much as possible in this drawing. After working on the mountain and then blending it downwards into the mist, I wanted to add some details in front that would help to add to the mist effect. So I decided that I wanted to add some rolling hills and forests and kind of blending them downwards into the mist and having the treetops kind of poking out. So I started by adding the first hill in the background at the base of the mountain using some light shading and then blending downwards with the blending stick uh, making this one very faded into the background amongst all of the mist. For the next hill in front of that I added some darker shading and also started to add detail to some of the individual trees where the treetops are poking out at the top of the mist and then as the hill rolls downwards into the mist that's where I use the blending stick to blend and fade the details. Moving on from that, the next hill is much closer, so the trees appear much larger. Um, starting with a mid-tone shading to begin with, adding the first layer of trees, and then using a 5B pencil over the top of that, adding more trees to show a layered effect and showing some of the trees further forward in that same area, and then just blending the shading downwards into the mist. Then for the final part of the drawing I wanted to add the trees in the foreground on top of a very close hill. 
Uh, so for this I used the 5B pencil, adding the rough shapes of all of the trees to begin with, and then adding individual shading to each tree, and adding some dead trees in amongst it, and some dead branches, and just focusing more on the details of this area, as it's much closer. I continued refining some of the details, and cleaned up some of the lines on the trees and the mountain, and after that it was completed. Overall it took about two hours to complete and it was just really fun and relaxing to work on. I, I love working on nature drawings like this and I really hope this video helps out in some way. So please let me know what you think of this drawing in the comments below and if you have any suggestions for future fan art or fantasy art or any tutorial videos, any suggestions at all are hugely appreciated and they really help the channel out. If you'd like to see more videos like this then make sure you're subscribed and any likes or shares on this video, they really mean a lot to me and I, I really appreciate it. If you want to follow my progress and keep updated with everything I'm working on, then be sure to check out the links in the description box below to check out my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And once again, thank you so much for the support on this channel and thank you so much for watching this video. It really means a lot to me and I hope this video helps out. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you all soon.